Hello, here we are on Royal. We're doing more stacky stack matches on the main branch. Team 1ANS, Team 2 OSP, 3K 4v4. Team 1 is Das, Polymorphous, Neuroid, Vastel, and Xenophon of Athens. Team 2 is Rom, Captain Cass, Corvo, and Dramus. We're on Arroyo. Center point map, but with tons of cover. All around the map. All around the map. I think this is going to be a good little match. Arroyo games usually are. Very, uh, very scrappy. Points are kind of close together. Um, and the side points are open, but the middle point is covered. Yeah. Very interesting experience for driving down here with the OSP team. I have no idea what's on this bulk fighter. It doesn't appear to have any mounts on it whatsoever. Which I hope is not correct. So I'm going to be real mad. What is going on? Oh, they're on the other side. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, boy. You can tell how, how long of a day it's been for me. Okay, yeah, Chaos has a 450 bulk fighter with 100s on it. And a plasma and point defense pork fighter. He's also got EWR and Bloodhound Tugs. Crow's got an Acello 450s. Stonewall Bullseye Floodlight Pinard, Aurora. A little support ship on VLS too, presumably for some Killjoys. I don't know, these look like offensives with how many there are. Two jam shuttles supporting it as well. Nice. The ultimate support fleet, one AWR tug as well. Seeing as well a lot today, I don't know what that's about. Framus with. What the bug is this? C30s and C56s, that's uh, 100 mil and 250 broadside. <laughs> Very silly. Uh, a couple of MLS2s on the back as well. EWR tug, wow, lots of EWR coverage mm -hmm. for this team. Be really strong. It's also got well gun shuttles and a couple of rocket shuttles. Um, it's got two plasma 100 obelisk bulk freighters. And the enemy is securing zone yeah. eclipse. And a bunch of gun shuttles, gun shuttle. Oh, and some naked shuttles. The enemy is securing zone dagger. Or an EWR and tug. I think everybody on this team is an EWR tug. Wow. Yes. Uh, interesting setup. As a little armada of. Okay, I'm not sure. Let's get things. So he's got a small group of S2 H and P9 sprinters. Supported with some capping boxer. torpedo sprinters. Just a handful of them. Neuroid is bringing the same fleet the past two games. Two missile beam DDs with S2Hs in them and some S2s as well with little capping missile sprint. Vestal's rocking double 450 axers. Very menacing. Xenophon, oh my dagger. god. Xenophon's got a rail array. A very naked rail array. Four rail destroyers with no extra mounts other than the rails. Quite brave. A uh, one. Oh, the game's freezing up a little bit there. There we go. And one uh, multi mission caps for now. Probably three of those. Yeah. Switch is bonk. Going out towards the Alpha, a bunch of them get dumped into a shuttle. Oh, two shuttles actually get hit. That's not bad. That's not bad. Two Your shuttle kills. Zone Ooh, that's bad though. Launch going into dead shuttles. The enemy is securing zone atlas. To prevent the alpha cap, that's very important on these center point maps. That's going to fall off the guy. And Corbeau's going to space in this solo. The enemy is securing zone atlas. I'm not sure that's quite the best decision for him to be doing. No, he needs to be close and then supporting the team. 
Although, I don't know, chasing down those rails might be good? Oh well, Excel is kind of the worst ship for this job. This is Bill, is this, um... Oh, it's Parallax, okay. Cry for help. <laughs> uh, it's a great name for Nacello. Bomb. Enemy secured zone Atlas. Yes, torpedo sprinters. Really doing it. In us, capping A is a pretty big deal. Yes, it is. It'd be a bigger deal if they had beams on Overwatch. Yeah. But it's still huge. Bunch of supporting bulk freighters overwatching Alpha. Gonna be able to kill the sprinters that were up here capping it. Well, one of them, anyways. One gets away. I think it's the cheaper one that gets away. Oh no, this thing is uh, one of the naked ones. This is not one of the uh, S2H ones. Ooh, they're killing the beam. There we go. Bastol is targeting Corbo now, and vice versa. Here's. Means uniform? Oh. No. Where, is, where the fuck is Bastol ships? The two CHs below the rail array. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I was, I was looking for the S2H sprinters for some reason. Alright, well, we know who wins this fight. Yes, especially since Corvo is broadside. Yeah, those Axfords are going to have a field day with this. Although Corvo's managed to use the jamming to disappear off radar. Yeah, as long as you can stay hidden, they will be okay. Yeah, jamming doesn't last forever, and those S2s are not penetrating double X for PD. Bastol is also not using his roll command to keep the guns pointed towards the ship, so Ooh. those Axfords are going to have to rotate back again. Unfortunate. A little bit of a micro mistake there. It's like ANS content to sit back, throw some missiles down the field. Oh yeah, those S2H sprinters got a great angle to start dumping some of the support craft. Oh, it looks like they're currently firing missiles at... Oh, and we can see missiles that have locked onto things. Nice. It's nice little spike to the buff. Dead ship, yeah, well, bomb. Long dead ship effect. Corbo's realized his mistake here. <laughs> hey, it's now leaving. Full yeah, reverse. Away from this. Yep. Oh, look at all that 450. Yeah. Oh! Oh no, he's got a sun drive! Oh, it's immediately going down to 12%. This is gonna be useless. Still got a whip, so it'll still be functional, but there's an antenna. Active overload. If he has to shut down that ship, that's not going to be good. Nah, he's got plenty of DC teams. Yeah. No other crits either, so it should get repped pretty quickly. And meanwhile, the Axers are taking a little bit of damage, but they've got the repair threshold to just he didn't be fine, uh, and they're dishing out so very much more. They are significantly slower than this uh, solo though, so... Yeah, he's gonna be able to run away, assuming he battle shorts these bellbirds and just stays off radar, just fuck it, leaves. Because the burn pings at this range are not... not giving the uh, Axfords enough information to get any lands. Oof. Jamie fell off, immediately gets locked. It's two HMBDDs. Going on a little adventure here. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. That's a dead shuttle. That is even more dead. The line is probably gonna hard kill the other one. Das trying to get the E cap, but Dramus is ready for that. Corbo now eating rail fire. Oh, this fleece of 
big trouble. Yeah. I'm gonna have to ask him about that when we're done here. And Das Das is a cap getting killed full out. I mean, I don't know off the ball here. Yep. Rom's shuttle exploded over there, though. Was that from the Corvette? No, I that was that? from the uh, S2Hs. Oh, okay. Yeah. A Corvette, but not now. Chaos is actually kind of in a bit of a position to help Corbeau out if he pushes C, but or B, but I don't think he realizes that. I don't, I don't think he's gonna go for it. It's kind of hard to tell. Yes. Because I don't think that. Well, they do have. I mean, got an EWR pointed in that direction. They should have a pretty good idea that there's not that much over here, and they can go for it. The enemy is securing yeah. zone comment. You can do like a ship count, right? But yeah. I don't think they actually realize that the Yub number is the DBs either. So. That's a distinct possibility. Because these are these missile beam destroyers are playing really aggressively. <laughs> I'll for him. Corbo's gonna oh, get yeah. pushed off the map at this rate. Yeah, there's no one to really support him either. These CHs are just gonna keep pressuring him until he dies. Yeah. Which is gonna happen probably kinda soon. Because the, uh, the real fire is really stacking up the crits. Everything's on fire. Everything's got multiple crits. Yeah. Uh, damage is decent, and the 450s adding on top of this is just absolutely destructive. These Prime CHs have way too much BD. Yeah, those piddly S2s aren't getting through that ever. But I think he realizes he's just dead, so he might as well fire them all anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Give you something to do while you're dying. Heat <laughs> up the PD ammo. Gramus looks to be parked for a cap on Delta. Air rocket shuttles. Also taking C too. This dude's going after these sprinters. I think, uh, yeah, I don't think it's really gonna work. Well, probably not, yeah, it's gonna die before they cap C, probably. There we go. Yeah, no way. There it is. The enemy is securing zone atlas. So many missiles happening down here in the lower section. It's two H's out of both fleets. Ooh, good timing. Pretty good lands. Hogging out, uh... Both the C-30s. Book Fritter's still in decent health. It can fix those C-30s up and get back to shooting Corvettes in no time. It is also way down in the middle of nowhere. Corbo's CC is disabled now, so... Yeah. Yeah, the x have just ran up on it while the engine block was down. And it's extremely critted up. Must be getting the alpha cap. You're gonna hit it too. Plasma covering the point with the beam destroyers. The S2H is going after it. Oh. Must be gets the cap. They did get it. So even if they lose the shuttle, which they probably will, or maybe won't. Wow. Yeah, those missiles wow. are not targeting the correct spot on that shuttle for wow. some reason. 
So that's gonna get away scot free. Even though it really shouldn't. <laughs> nice stages in the bulk fritter. Sending a Corvette for the A cap. CHs are using their pos position to start killing off the OSP support chips. A little long range for 450 against the tug, but short range it'll work pretty well. Oh, rocket shuttles coming in for Delta. Managed to kill the pump and crepe as it passes out. Actually, they're not pushing the point. They're just parked out here waiting for something to leave. We're waiting for an opportunity to go in. Got one Corvette. They can go in now and grab it. Well, these are two, uh, just two H bombers, I see. Yeah. I really like those ships. Bringing, like, two or three of them is pretty good value, even though it's very expensive. All of them, as well as still my favorite fleet right now is, uh, six of them. Yeah, six of them? You bring six? Yeah. Oh, I bring five, I usually. I don't know how you put six in. <laughs> like, cut down on S2Hs? No. You don't need point defense. No. Yeah. I guess you could do that. Yeah, but you are at least. Yeah. Every everyone has a jammer. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's six fucking blankets. <laughs> spotting that. Which is pretty good. That also means the missiles are coming in under six fucking blankets of jamming. Which is yeah. extremely good. Impossible to see them. Yeah. Things, things just gonna die. The well, they're gonna lose happens. the Corvette on A, but they did cap the point, so... Indeed. It's an expensive little ship. Mm, yeah. This missile's still on it. The enemy is securing zone it's eclipse. Dies. The enemy is securing zone boxer. Why am I offset from this? That's weird. Oh no. Dramus' shuttle flew into the reactor bloom. Uh, that's and it was disabled. <laughs> I don't think he meant to do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to bring the other one up now to cap Delta. That one's being disabled. Captain Bravo, they gotta get it too. I'm able to dodge the rail fire decently at this range. I think if Vastal can take apart these LNs from range, then OSP's gonna have a really bad time. Yeah, and they're already having a really the bad time. Yeah. And just traded the naturals. Lost a good chunk of their shuttles, and there goes another one. They're down 100 points and one cat. I think they're about to lose Echo. Dash comes up here, obliterates the shuttle. Oh, yeah. You can get out of the point with that torp sprinter. Take it pretty reliably. Radio Ye is going to die very quickly here unless it gets away. Yeah, it's eating 450 and rails, which is a really fantastic combo. Yeah, still has the ships just kind of parked in cover. Oh, this got... Under the sea. Got wrecked. I don't know by what. I haven't seen any holes in it. Which ship? Chaos is 450 bulk freighter. I don't see any blast point. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. On top of it, it looks like it ate a ton of torps right in the yeah, midsection. Yeah, I think you got hit by missiles. It's like. <laughs> Zone yeah, I was getting on Delta. It's good OSP really needs that to stay in the game, especially since they're about to lose Bravo. Yeah. 
So much fire. We're gonna recap E though, probably. Though Bastol can just switch targets and engage that LN. I think that's actually the best for Bastol to do, is just kill that LN below him, but he's gonna continue pressuring. Chaos. And he switches on to Echo and takes that bulk critter out and they have almost complete control of that side of the map. Yeah. The OSP has actually very little to com combat these CHs. They really need to bring all their LNs together to fight them. The enemy is securing zone Yeah, I don't think I don't think they've got the coordination for that. <laughs> Finally making the decision to go try to take D. And they save the Bravo control. So Azurite's gonna probably be able to capture Echo. I don't think it's gonna be challenged over here by anything yet, not really. I think they're probably realizing right now that D was open for quite a while. Yeah. The enemy might think twice about pushing C here. Yeah, broadside, broadside, plasma. You really don't want to be eating that. Chaos uh, taking advantage of the long haul the way that he should be by accelerating and decelerating. Fuck me aiming up. Good to see. Yeah, it looks like Bastel's gonna think twice about this. I immediately stops switching that and starts burning down to get cover. Yeah. Well, Xenophon's helping him out now, so... Chaos, try to get the angle so the rails can't hit him, but he can still hit the CHs. It's gonna be real hard, especially now if the rails yeah. are. Yeah, the all's going down now to just like, okay, well, E's probably a little easier to take. <laughs> so. Yeah. Significantly easier. Yeah. This is the right decision. Made a little late, but yes. They've still got a lead in Estes. They're up by about 90 points. They are down a cap. It's going to evaporate over time. Especially since the team is, I think they're out of missiles, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah they don't have any sort of long-range support tools. Missiles, anyways. Still have the rails, obviously, in good health. Extremely vulnerable to getting missiled, but... With cruise missiles being the way that they are right now, people are kind of greeting on their anti-missile tools, and it's paying off. Yeah. You might see some people start trying to run supplementary crews just to do that, though. Like, I mean, you start noticing that everyone's running, like, literally no PD at all on support ships like this, then it's worth bringing just a backpack of cruise missiles. Problem is, uh, you, you can't reach them. That's true. It's difficult to reach rail PDs. You have to bring backpack containers. Which are usually a bad idea. Which <laughs> are basically always a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, don't, they just don't cut it. Like, Chaos has kind of found a little bit of a... The enemy found is a screw here. A good angle. It is a really good angle. 
Put more plasma on a Vastal, that's important. If he gets enough on, then everything becomes a threat to that CH. Yes, and suddenly you don't need all the elements together. Yeah. Just one will do significant damage, although it's spinning in place and dodging the plasma pretty effectively. Oh, that's good. That's his day a little bit. The enemy is securing zone I think he can wins. still see it, actually. But he's okay. Yeah. In the middle of that explosion. Set's so coming in clutch there. Yeah, still firing at the Osper Knight, recognizing they really need to get the Echo Gap. Which they are doing with the uh, Christopher Robin here. And it's still up by 70 points. There we go. Osper Knight. Chip is not doing well. Vastel will take that thing out pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's also a DD. <laughs> yeah, a little help. Oh no, it's getting rocketed! Ooh, Defender! Wow. Amazing. Oh, all these S2s struggling so hard. Command Act S2s. I don't know if their agility is fucked or what. They're just not landing. I, I don't... I. This looks suspiciously like that other issue that was happening with the uh, targeting. Well, the thing that's making me think that that's not it is these have front lines and they're using front line tracks. Ah, uh, that's... Yeah, for fair command enough. Missiles. Are, they are command, not command valve. Correct. Yeah, okay. Okay, that checks out then. Very questionable. I only like doing that on um, sprinters with torpedoes, because torpedoes, they don't... You know, they're a lot less maneuverable, so... You get away with a weaker track with a less maneuverable missile. With command? Yes, yeah. Because the, the missile... Um, like every time it's like updating where oh, it should it'll, move. Oh, it'll turn. And because yeah. it's got low agility, it'll wind up like kind of in the middle. Because yeah, it's constantly and, turning. Okay. Yeah, cause, and it can't like correct enough. Like each time it's told to move to a new aim point. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, SP's catching up. And it's now only ahead by 30 points and they've kind of lost... I lost a lot. I lost basically all their scout ships. They've still got the double axe, which is very dangerous, but plasma. Still got the beam destroyers, which are out of missiles. And they have one. Dramus. Full rail array. You can't lose the save point. He can get this rocket shuttle on top of A again. But he knows that he can't lose A. Delta. Yeah, the Delta shuttle gets killed. The enemy is securing Zone Atlas. It's going to come down to these two. Does this have any rockets left? It certainly does. Half a compliment. Graphite might just get nuked. It's rotating. Oh my god, this Corvette's called Super Shot Grum. <laughs> oh, I think it's an arc. Yeah. I think that means Alpha's gonna get yeah. ANS, which is a big, yeah. big problem. I think that it does. And it's getting beamed. Yeah, goodbye, shuttle. The enemy secured his own atlas. Super shot run. Takes it. Such a 
I think that's going to be an ANS victory. So too. Oh, so just doesn't have the mass to take this fight anymore. So, Vastal's CH might get killed here, but it might be just too late in the game for this to matter. Well, so I don't think it's gonna Wrong. die. It's fairly plasma and it's eating more plasma, of course, but... Yeah, it's still basically full hit points, so... Yeah. And it's also got some parts that aren't plasma. And it snows on, which will help. After this next volley, if Rom can get another HEHC volley off, this thing's gonna start taking real damage. That grape volley did. Couple crits. Seven crits? Unfortunately, I don't think Rom's gonna get a chance to get the next volley off. No, he's he getting railed now, fire. so. Yeah. Oh, one volley. Alright, let's see it. Let's watch the crit farming. Trying to stack crits. I think it's better for him to do HEHC right now, though, because of the Balon. Just a humble crit farm on me, Lord. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> yeah, quite a few crits, but it's all in compartments that don't really matter. Yeah, and it hurts like eating a the lot of rails. Yeah, the thrusters on that CH2 are protecting it a lot right now. Yes. Broke one of them. Yeah, this thing's going down like the rugs. Yeah, the Allen's gonna die first for sure. Let's move it on to Charlie. Just getting beans. Oh, and there's the structure break. Keep beaming. Uh, and there's everything else on the ship. DJ. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna have to ask Corbo about that upper the enemy is securing zone box. And this played really well, by the way. Good job. They did play really well. I think OHP kind of... Like... They sort of gave them a bit of a advantage there, because of Corbo dying so early. Yeah. And... Unfortunately... The rest of Corbo's team wasn't really there to support him. I think it might have been a bit different if there had been LNs underneath of the CHs pushing the CC at the start there. Say again? Yeah. We're just talking about what might have been. Yeah. What might have been dark? Wait, Did y'all see the friendly game. fire S2H? No. no. I, didn't that. I fucking killed one of my S2H cores with another one because of loose formation. <laughs> no. So, Corbo, why the mega space flank with an Ocello? Because it's out there to kill small ships. They were just all on the bottom hemisphere of the map. I see. It's the place to be. And then you ran into the Axford and the rails and had a very bad time. Yeah, there could not have been a worse matchup. I'm Those a bit rails, confused. Why uh... would there be small ships uh, up there? Are you thinking like, what, uh, S2H sprinters? I mean, spy glasses. Locking ships. I don't know. On, on Arroyo with small ships, I always play on the underside because, like, there's three points down there, and then, you know. Difference of view, I guess. I frequently play on top with scouts. I play well, on both sides with scouts, usually. Am I eligible reason. for uh, Dreadnought? Deal 35k ballistic weapons. I did uh, 36k damage, I think. Sure are. 
I think you've been eligible for Dreadnought for a long time, to be honest. Yeah, I think so too. You, you do this all the time with your fucking experts. Someone just has to mention it. Yeah, for some reason I kept expecting the uh, rails to drive on to um, drive onto that other high point B. I don't know why I expected that. I just looked where they were. Yeah, I just kind of was trying to stay away from everything and shoot as much as I could. Yeah, the uh, rails are definitely quite punishing. Indeed. In the game, Rain has played really well and won both a capping and a military victory. Very nice. Very cool. Most excellent. I'll see you in the battle space, viewer. Good night.